I have a concern about for-profit schools. The Defense Department spent $660 million on tuition assistance in fiscal year 2012. Service members across DOD took almost 900,000 voluntary education courses, including more than 280,000 by Air Force members. We know from an investigation by the Senate Help Committee that half of those funds go to for-profit colleges, some of them deceptively named American Military University, as an example. We also know from studies by the GAO, National Bureau of Economic Research, and Harvard University that the students attending for-profit colleges have lower success rates than similar students in public and nonprofit colleges, including graduation rates, employment outcomes, debt levels, and loan default rates. When I think that these for-profit schools have now become the choice in at least half of the cases for uh, education for our members of the military, it troubles me because the outcomes are unacceptable for anyone, let alone members of the military. Are you aware of this? And if so, what are you doing about it? Well, we, we are aware of this, and we would like to work with you on how to, uh, how to regulate uh, access to our military members and how to certify uh, the, the credentials of for-profit institutions and their ability to provide degrees and, and the, uh, the military's uh, support for that work. We, we think education is very important for our airmen. Uh, we incentivize it in a lot of different ways. Uh, we've supported it through tuition, tuition assistance programs as well. Our concern on tuition assistance, if I can take a variation on your, uh, of, of, your, of, your, uh, of your very important point, uh, is that we need to make that program sustainable over time. It has been growing. Uh, we have uh, some 115,000 uh, enrolled uh, in, in uh, tuition assistance programs. We've not been able to budget for its full costs, and you'll see some of that in our reprogramming actions um, coming forward. Uh, so this is the, the costs of this program are of concern to us well, as well. I, I agree with you. We have to be thoughtful because we want to provide these opportunities for men and women in the military to improve themselves and be ready for the day when they may be back in civilian life. We do. And I, I am troubled, I am deeply troubled by the thought that there are, and I don't have any specifics in your branch, but I do in others, that there is a cozy relationship between the for-profit colleges and the military. They invite them in and they're anxious to come to market these courses, which are unacceptable in terms of being mediocre to poor, if not bad. Uh, and the, we're, they're wasting their time, they're wasting government money, they're wasting the opportunities of their lives on these for-profit colleges. And uh, I'm gonna have a hearing on that as well and I invite your uh, participation. I think when we start weeding out the waste of money in this, there may be more resources available for valuable education. Historically, there have been colleges providing valuable education to members of the military for decades, and I think we can continue that tradition.